Uh, I'm Brighton Spanda. I'm going to be presenting on behalf of Zimbabwe. Uh, we share quite a number of similarities with the Malawi, Zambia, the other countries that have already presented. So quite a number of issues have been highlighted. So it will make my life easy. I won't touch much on the issues that have been addressed. So I also guess uh, the, the time that, uh, that was taken by the Haiti, I think I'm going to compensate on that one so that we are on time. Yes, as a, as a country, we, we have an estimated population of around uh, 14 million. We do have uh, 10 provinces. Uh, we also had our, our, our first outbreak in 1973. Uh, since then, we have had uh, significant outbreaks in between the 1992, 93, uh, most significantly the uh, 2008 and 2009. So, and the current one, which is 2018 and 2019. Uh, 15 outbreaks uh, have been recorded in the last last 20 years, uh, the 200809, we saw 100,000 cases, about 4,000 deaths, which is the highest number in Africa, I guess. Uh, the, the current outbreak that we are currently having, uh, the 2018 to 2019, where we, we currently have uh, 10,000 cases with a death of 68. Uh, out of the 10 provinces, nine provinces are actually affected. The, the outbreak started in September 2018. On the 4th of September, Harare is the most affected. Uh, uh, cases are concentrated in the southern west sepap. I think you will see on the map. Uh, Arare is the capital city of the country, meaning it's also the, it is the engine of the country in terms of everything. So you can also imagine when there are challenges to do with the uh, outbreaks of cholera, it also means it to be also the engine in terms of the negative aspect. There is so much in terms of trafficking, uh, people coming in and out of the, of the capital city as it is quite a number of the centralized services that they need in that city. Uh, in upcountry, most affected uh, areas were analyzed, so we did attempt to make an analysis over over 20 years, that's an attempt to see how the, the, the country has been performing and how where the cases have been uh, coming from for, 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 that part, for those particular years. I think I'll flash the map uh, soon. Uh, Zimbabwe used to have a, a high level of service, uh, but water and sanitation service declined since the two decades. Uh, the SDGs goes down due to economic situation which is yet to be fixed. I, I think uh, that one is clear. Uh, I hope it's, uh, it's, it's clear, but it's a, it's a, it's a very big slide. As you, as you can see, uh, that's the map for, for, for Zimbabwe. Uh, as you can see, the, 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 the cases are actually concentrated. Uh, this is Harare. This is Harare. So Arare being the engine, like I, I said, you, you, you can see most of the cases are concentrated there. So then you then have cases going uh, outwards uh, where there are uh, routes and connections to, 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 to the major city. Uh, we also have cases that are actually coming in from this end where we we, we, we brought Zambia. I think Zambia has also highlighted the, the head outbreaks previously. So we, we share common uh, features. We show, share common uh, a lot of you know, similarities with the country, even in terms of the movement of the population. Some people uh, also go to Zambia for you know, 
Zimbabweans are most, they are, they are the most enterprising, you know, in the world. They travel a lot. So wherever there is something that they need, it means they also go there. So it means the, we, we have been having quite a number of people also trafficking Zambia as well as Mozambique and later on Malawi. Quite a number of the of the, the, the guys, especially in the mining sector, they also come from, from Malawi in Zimbabwe. So here and there, they also go back to Malawi. So in a way, there is that sharing of common similarities. So this is uh, this is the map for, for, for Harare. As you can see, most of the cases are coming f from the south and west of the of Harare. But as you as you would appreciate, the whole city eventually is also affected. But the intensity and the the the, the, the number of cases are more within the the the, 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 the south and west part of the of the capital city. I think this is just uh, this this one is just showing the the, 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 the cases that are, are aligned along the border. I think I've I've touched on that. But more pre precisely I think what is more critical for, for, for us as a country, we I alluded to that we, we, we did this over over twenty years from ninety eight to to, to, to 2008 just to see where our cases are coming from. Uh, uh, it's also important again for us maybe to, to go deeper, deeper to say uh, particularly for example if we take maybe say Mazoe as a district because these are districts, where exactly in, Ma, in Mazoe are the cases coming from? We need to, to, to further refine the sources of infection within those particular areas. So we, we do have quite a number of challenges in, in, in areas like uh, uh, Moodzi, areas like Mount Darwin, where there is a lot of mining in those areas especially the, the illegal mining which is taking place in those particular areas. So without refining, I think you might uh, focus in uh, your interventions within maybe the whole district uh, uh, leaving the particular hotspots. So I think as a country, we, we need to further uh, refine down. So in terms of the status of our... Our national control plan, it's not yet developed, but we have two documents for WASH, uh, which are in place. Uh, the six months one, which is the cholera outbreak response plan, and the 12 months, which is outbreak response emergence and preparedness uh, plan, which is for a year. Uh, the cholera secretariat initiated recently to drive the elaboration of future national plans. So a, a lot is being done. Uh, the, 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 the government, through its, its leadership, have committed themselves to the development of this plan. As, as you have seen, the, the city, the capital city is actually the engine. The capital city, that, that's the city that housed the leadership of the country. So in a way, one way or the other, the, the impact is, is there. The impact if actually hit the, the, the country to an extent that even the, the politicians to them, it's clear that something needs to be done and the support as well as the will is there to, to move forward in terms of the development of the plan. Uh, uh, cholera stakeholders involvement, government, local actors, international, there's uh, wide consultation uh, from level, uh, top level to the more executive bodies. So at all levels, all the levels are also involved, including the, the community themselves, as well as the community leadership. As we all know, uh, anything that is for, for, for the community, without the community, it's not for them. So it's very critical for us to actually engage them to that level. Uh, a specific uh, related to the wash sections, end of emergence needs to, to switch. I think we, we have talked at length, the, the previous speakers have talked at length about this to say there's that need to to move from the emergence to, to, to a different process where we can sustain all the uh, the, 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 the gains that would have made uh, within the country and to maintain uh, a, 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 an outbreak-free nation need to develop a new dynamic 
different frequencies of meetings. Uh, right now, the, 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 the drive is because of the emergence. People need to meet because there is a cholera outbreak. But we, we then need to have that as, a, as part of a parcel of our system. Uh, in Harare, we already have you know, the structures that are in place because of the ongoing outbreak that has been there. But for now, we, we receive cases here and there, but almost we are almost done with the outbreak. Okay, so in terms of the, 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 the challenges, first, the country has limited capacity in terms of human, uh, financial, and mobility. In terms of human, if we talk of capacity, we, we, we are talking of the expertise. Are the people able to react to, to the outbreaks? In our situation, the, 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 the leaders have been trained at district, at provincial level, but we still need to cascade the trainings to the, to the foot soldiers, the people who are actually in contact with the, the communities, so that when things happen, they are the first to react. So we, we need to push it to that level. Human resources, again, the country has been facing challenges, economic challenges, a lot of critical post have been frozen, especially the environmental health practitioners uh, post. Who, these guys who are actually critical in you know moving around and spreading the gospel and actually putting a strong surveillance within the community, the posts are frozen. So th there is need uh, for, 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 for that to be far so that the issues are, are addressed. With finance, it's, it's given everything needs to, to actually be, be, be financed. In terms of mobility, you need to move from one point to the other. Uh, previously, I think the last two, 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 two months we've been having a challenge as a country where fuel was a scarce commodity. You also talk about the vehicles and the, the motorcycles. Surveillance means you need to be there at, at a particular time when there is need. So if you wait, maybe 24 hours because you can't get to that point. It means you are likely to have loss of life where it's not necessary. So in Arare, we are looking at the structural rehabilitation of the water and sanitation services that are there. Uh, against maybe the alternatives that we can have. It's a long-term thing. We all know a lot of capital is needed to address the issues, but we need to be having something while we are engaging on the long, long term. Our, our setup is different in Zimbabwe. Uh, the open setup, uh, the bylaws that do not provide for the alternative sanitations like the play latrines. We mainly depend on the reticulation system, water reticulation system. So with the expansion of the country, which is, you know, the population, which is not coping with actually the, 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 the water and sanitation services that are there, we are having serious challenges where people are now resorting to unprotected water sources as well as using the push main as the, as the, as the toilet. Uh, we have to validate a ranking in order to keep realistic. I think we've talked about that. To develop sustainable package uh, prevention versus the emergence. We, we, we don't need to be uh, running around. We need to have a plan. Then looking at the support requirements, we are saying the vaccination now. We have done the vaccinations uh, for three years. Yes, immunization. But uh, yes, that's a preventive in the up country where we have been showing the cases where they are coming from. And probably a new vaccine in 2022. After three years, that will be 2022. But will we be there in terms of the rehabilitation of the, of the water sanitation uh, facilities, particularly in Harare, where the epicenter of the problem is? So it remains a challenge. Workshop about cholera control. Uh, quite a number of workshops have been done to capacitate the health workers. It's, 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 it's happening, but the major challenge still is we need to, to take those workshops to the people on the ground. Yes, the managers now understand, but when things happen, the managers won't be there. So we need to make sure the foot soldiers are actually capacitated. Even in terms of our laboratory, we still have challenges in those areas we need to capacitate the My Life Foundation supporting Cholera National Secret Secretariat. I have to touch that. The, 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 there is full commitment. The, the country is now geared up to develop the plan. Part of the clusters are operational, while some are must others must be activated. Like the, the wash cluster is, is, is very operational. At the moment, we are running the rural wash 
a sanitation project which is running in rural in in rural provinces, which is quite yeah, vibrant and it's doing very well, and we are seeing the gains as a country. But unfortunately, because of the economic situation that is there, people are actually struggling to to to, to construct the, the needed facilities. But the advocacy still continues, uh, where we are also uh, encouraging the communities where possible to be sharing the facilities so that we cut on open defecation. Ah, thank you very much. Thank you.